a warm welcome to IED Awards 2021. This is the eighth year that IED will be recognizing excellence in self-evaluation through these awards. And I'd like to tell you that the award ceremony itself has gone from strength to strength. Today, we are delighted to welcome many distinguished guests among us. And I'll call out a few names. And as I call out your names, I request you to please turn on your videos so those present here can see you and feel encouraged that you've taken time out to be part of this ceremony. I'd like to welcome E.D. Lu. He is the chairperson of the Development Effectiveness Committee. And we have DEC members, and I believe all EDs and AEDs are very warm welcome to all of you. We have VP Operations 1. VP Chen, a very warm welcome, VP Chen. We have VP Operations 2, Ahmed Saeed. Very warm welcome to you, VP Saeed 2. We have VP P, Ashok Lavasa. Very warm welcome to you as well, Ashok. And VP Bruce Gosper. Uh, we, of course, have heads of departments of all operation departments. That means a lot to us. We have DGs, DDGs, and directors. And from IED, we have IED DG Manny Jimenez, DDG Sona Shreshta, IED Director Nathan Subramaniam, and Senior Advisor Ben Graham. A very warm welcome to all of you. A little bit about the awards. Unfortunately, this year too, we could not be in ADB headquarters. And you know, the usual pomp and show that is associated with the ceremony will be missed, but we'll try and make it as real for you as possible. The production team has promised that straight after this event, they will place the awards in your offices. So when you return in 2022, you can see it on your desk. And uh, also, I'd like to tell you that the process that has been adopted to identify the winners has been very rigorous. It's very transparent. And you'll be hearing a bit more about the importance of self-evaluation and independent evaluation as the morning goes by. But on my part, the only thing that I would say is that if we not just focus on the compliance aspect of self-evaluation, but look at it as a learning opportunity that will already kickstart quality self-assessment. And with that, I'd like to invite DGIED Manny Jimenez to uh, say a few things to open this event. Manny is new to IED, but he's definitely not new to development. He's definitely not new to evaluations. Manny, it's over to you. I'd like to welcome the deck chair, uh, board members and vice presidents, uh, DGs and other ADB colleagues uh, to this uh, event. And of course, a very special welcome to the winners of the 2021 IED Awards. I've been in ADB just a little over a week. I'm very pleased that one of my first tasks is to recognize colleagues outside of IED uh, for their work. A critical part of, evaluate, of the evaluation system at ADB as it is in other multilateral development banks is the process of self-evaluation in which staff look at the programs that they've managed and do an assessment of whether or not they thought it succeeded. Uh, after all, uh, those uh, people who uh, are doing the self-evaluations are the ones who have the most information about what actually worked. They are the sausage makers, if you like. Uh, but uh, it's also very important because they are so close to what's going on on the ground that any lessons learned from self-evaluation have a better chance of being taken up. Uh, if they do it themselves. But any self-evaluation also benefits a lot from an outside perspective. Uh, otherwise, we run to the danger of what others call, might call navel gazing. And that is exactly what IED's role is, is to provide that outside perspective uh, and also to validate whether or not the self-assessment is evidence-based and convincing. This is a very critical part of the system uh, and is seen by governing bodies uh, and the public at large as an assurance that that uh, interactive system works to improve uh, uh, our understanding of what really works for results. As Salah mentioned, for eight years now, IED has been recognizing uh, operational departments for excellence in, in self-assessment. Self as she also mentioned, it's not just based on technical rigor, but candor, uh, which is really critical. 
they're selected based not just on that, but also their presentational skills uh, and ability to communicate uh, their findings uh, to others. Um, during the selection process, uh, IED has a very unique role because we have a, we actually review every single self-evaluation. You might wonder why. Uh, I think that this is very important because uh, it's not just for accountability. After all, if you're just concerned about accountability, we would just validate a sample. That's what uh, the BIR and the IRS does to ensure tax compliance. Uh, but in order to assure learning, it's very important that uh, we actually uh, validate all of the uh, self-evaluations. So there were uh, 70 PCRs, project completion reports. Uh, there were 23 um, extended annual reviews, XARRs and 46 TA completion reports or TCRs. I hope I got my acronyms right, Saleha. I may not, but <laughs> I'm learning. Um, so today IED will be awarding the three best PCRs and best XARR for sovereign and non-sovereign operations. And the IED Cup 2021 will go to the department which has excelled, excelled overall across all the parameters. I just can't wait for that one. Uh, I was curious uh, and asked the team um, about the cup itself. Uh, why is there a bird uh, on that cup? And they said, that's not a bird, it's an eagle. Um, so the eagle uh, has a very important symbol. Uh, we all know the expression eagle eyes, which means penetrating discernment. And that clarity of vision, uh, which provides deep understanding and insight is what we hope symbolizes IED's role in the bank. So with that, Thank you again for joining us today and congratulations to all the winners. Thank you, back to you, Salera. Thank you so much, Bani. And just one quick point, because we ask this question very frequently, I just like to make a point that the IED awards are not necessarily given to uh, projects that have been deemed successful, but to quality self-assessment, just to make that point clear. And let's get straight ahead into hearing our distinguished guests speak. I'd like to first of all invite Deck Chair to say a few words. Idi Liu. Thank you very much, uh, Saleha. Uh, Idi, uh, many uh, Jimenez, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Thank you for inviting me to speak on behalf of the Development Effectiveness Committee of the Board of Directors on this important occasion. Now on its earth year, IED awards recognize the best self-evaluation reports for both sovereign and non-sovereign operations. Evaluation is a powerful instrument for accountability, the responsibility, and answerability of ADB for delivering on its mandate. Both independent evaluation and the self-evaluation are of most importance in this process. As DG IED just said, independent evaluation and the self-evaluation supplements each other. Independent evaluation strengthens the credibility of the institution, which in turn enhances confidence and improves accountability toward ADB clients and the shareholders. Self-evaluation has the advantage of being much closer to the action. It therefore has a great potential to, to promote learning. The value of self-evaluation is twofold. One, fixing problems as they arise. And the two, making sure avoidable mistakes are not repeated. This event is a clear recognition that learning from experience is vital in improving the way ADB works. The COVID-19 pandemic's impact has been massive and has already changed how we live and conduct our operations. ADB's approach has been comprehensive as we support COVID-19 assistance packages. However, this is a new era for all of us, and it is our collective responsibility to ensure that 
evaluation results and the latent feedback into ADB's future pandemic response and project de design. We must remember that these awards are not for successful projects or programs, but for excellency in self-evaluation. The selection process is rigorous and is based on very stringent criteria. Take this opportunity, I would like to commend all the efforts IED made on promoting self-evaluation among ADB projects. I would like to congratulate the project teams which prepared the winning self-assessment reports. This occasion has offered us the opportunity to recognize their invaluable contributions to the institution and the work that underlies each report. To all the already, I hereby congratulate you. And I trust that this awarding ceremony will inspire you and other colleagues. Again, congratulations. And thank you. Thank you very much, Deck Chair. Thank you very much for those kind words and words of encouragement. And uh, now I'd like to invite the vice presidents present here to say a few words. And I think your presence here at the IED award ceremony is testimony to the fact that ADB takes evaluations both independent and self-evaluation very seriously. Thank you very much for joining us. I'd like to call out your names and as I do, please say a few words of encouragement for us and for the winning team. I'd like to first of all uh, uh, invite VP Operations 1, VP Chen, to come and say a few words. Okay, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah I, I do like your your eagle, the, 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 the logo of the eagle. Yeah, that's remind me when I was a kid a lot of eagles in my hometown uh they have a very good uh, the, the sight even the very far they can see very uh, uh detailed very uh clear so this is i think maybe it's a feature of the ied uh, look at the, the uh, uh our operations so anyway uh good morning and uh, dear colleagues uh, thank you very much uh first of all uh let me uh, congratulate uh, uh dg many uh for joining the adb for the uh, appointment of ied so dg and also congratulations to uh, Sona uh, become the IED uh, DDG. So looking forward to uh, working with, uh, with you in, uh, in your capacity and see, uh, seeing you in a person, I think. Uh, and I hope uh, IED will continue uh, the success uh, under your uh, leadership. Uh, uh, also the congratulations to IED for a very successful year, I should say. Uh, this year IED not only uh, provided the a range of uh, very important reports, uh, such as the real-time evaluation on COVID. Uh, even we have some uh, different opinion on some of some of that, but also the various uh, uh, evaluation in operations. I should say, in 2021, ADB uh, delivered about uh, uh, more than uh, uh, 23 billion dollars assistance, and also mobilized uh, more than uh, 12 billion dollars in uh, co-financing. So the achievement is not only uh, just uh, you know amount of number of uh, the financial assistance, but also I, I'm really keen about the quality of uh, our operations delivered to the DMCs. Uh, as an in independent evaluation, uh, I was uh, very impressed that IED placed a very important role uh, to support the high quality and uh, effectiveness of operations. Uh, I'm also very impressed that by the IED's uh, spirit, I should say, uh, for pursuing objective, relevant, uh, credible evaluations and their uh, hardworking as, uh, as, as well. Uh, just some examples. Uh, first, the high uh, valuable recommendations to, uh, in uh, CPS, uh, final review validation reports, uh, which provides uh, uh, very solid recommendations for our new CPS uh, preparation. I think this is really uh, helpful. Uh, second example is a uh, great efforts in support of uh, operations departments in uh, strengthening uh, our self-evaluation capacity. The chair, you also mentioned that uh, like uh, the excellent IED CWRD joint uh, seminar, 
on the validation of the PC, uh, PCR. So that's uh, very much important. A uh, third uh, uh, example I'd like to mention is IED's high quality of uh, regional and uh, thematic evaluation has also provided uh, inputs and the guidance to the strategic efforts of the operations department, uh, like uh, SARD's uh, climate change operation, operations uh, strategy 2023 to 2030, so, uh, which uh, benefited a lot from IED's uh, thematic uh, uh, report on ADB's support for uh, action on the climate change. Uh, another thing I think has very uh, impressed me as well, IED's uh, continued support, uh, DMC's uh, strengthening their own uh, evaluation systems. Uh, I think it's, uh, it should be uh, highly uh, uh, commended. The very successful uh, uh, annual event on the Asia Evaluation Week in the PRC uh, can tell, I think, uh, the part of the story, how IED demonstrates its value in supporting uh, DMCs. So uh, moving ahead, the operations uh, look, uh, look forward to uh, continuous uh, strong co uh, collaboration with IED, uh, specifically in the context of uh, the changing uh, ADB and also the post-pandemic recovery in, uh, in the region. Uh, lastly, uh, joining uh, ED Liu, uh, big congratulations to all uh, awardees of today. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, VP. I'd like to now uh, call VP Operations to Ahmed Said to say a few words. And I'd like to also tell you all that please uh, don't go away immediately after these speeches because we'll take a group photo. I've been warned by the production team to tell you this. Over to you, Ahmed Said. Thank you uh, so much, Saliha, and it's nice to see you and, and all of our colleagues. Um, let me begin first by uh, appreciating uh, Edie Liu for your chairmanship uh, of, of the DEC and as the new DEC chair. Um, it is a very, very important responsibility, as you know, and, and we know that it's in good hands. Um, I also want to begin by welcoming DG Manny uh, to ADB. I was excited to see that uh, we are both uh, alumnuses of, of McGill University. So we have another one in our fold here. So, so nice to welcome uh, somebody who shares that background. Um, and you'll be, you'll be stepping into an organization that's being left in, in very, very good shape uh, by your predecessor. And, and we're all looking forward to working with you. Um, there's a very famous Albert Einstein quote, um, which is that the only source of knowledge is experience. Um, and I think this is one which Einstein actually got wrong. Um, one of Einstein's contemporaries uh, was a American philosopher by the name of John Dewey. And John Dewey said that we don't learn anything from experience. We learn only from reflecting on experience. And I think that, that phrase, reflecting on experience, is the definition of both what we do when we do self-evaluations and also the work that's done within IED. And it is, of course, I think, as we all recognize, so important because it's through this mechanism that we actually learn and that we improve as an organization and that we ensure that our work uh, continues to have more and more beneficial impact um, for our developing member countries. And so I think I share with all of my other colleagues here the perspective uh, that both the work of IED and the work that our departments do on self-evaluation, um, both of these are very, very important towards us achieving our objectives as an organization. Um, we've had a number of, I think, very useful interactions um, with the DEC and with IED over the course of the last year. Uh, just a few, to, a few days ago, the DEC discussed the GMS evaluation. Um, we found that evaluation, which was the first of its kind to evaluate ADB's contribution to a regional cooperation platform uh, to be both insightful and value added. Um, and the team has agreed with the recommendations of the evaluation. 2021 was, as we all know, a very busy time uh, with COVID response workload, um, but yet there was a lot of time also spent uh, in preparing new country partnership strategies. And I wanted to acknowledge IED's role uh, in this process. Uh, the CPS validation reports for Vietnam and Timor-Leste uh, provided very, very useful inputs to the ongoing preparation of the new CPSs for these two countries. And IED's contribution to the two country partnership strategies for PRC and Mongolia, both of which were endorsed in 2021, were also very much appreciated. In the Pacific, IED worked with us to raise the awareness of and support for 
evaluation of our DMCs. Um, in the Pacific IED's partnership with the University of the South Pacific, uh, this gave us an opening to the highest levels of government for training and professional development and evaluation. And I think that's a contribution that's been very appreciated in that important region of the world. And last but not least, I wanted to appreciate um, the teams who work with me in East Asia, Southeast Asia and the Pacific um, for very effectively and diligently delivering on their own self-evaluation programs for 2021. As I've said from the beginning uh, of this statement, the importance of self-evaluation is something that cannot be understated or cannot be overstated, I should say. Um, we need to know what worked, what did not, and how we can improve. And so on that note, let me thank you again, Saliha and the IED team, and, and give you the floor again. Uh, it's a privilege to be with you um, and with our colleagues who will be winning awards today, and, and my congratulations to all of them uh, in advance. Thank you. Thank you very much, VP. Absolutely. One couldn't put it better that, you know, experience without reflection can lead to no learning. Thank you very much for those words. And with that, I'd like to invite uh, VP Ashok Lavasa. This is the first time that VP, you are with us on an IED platform uh, like this. So very warm welcome on that uh, uh, also. And uh, please uh, say a few words to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you, Saleha. Uh, thank you. I can assure you that even though I'm on this platform for the first time, but I'm deeply aware of the work that IED does and the importance that it has in the organization. Uh, and I, I must thank you for inviting me. Uh, E.D. Liu, VP Chen, VP Saeed, VP Gosper, uh, on behalf of uh, everyone, uh, let me first welcome uh, DG uh, Jimenez. And uh, uh, I'm sure he is entering an organization which has a very sound record of uh, evaluation. Uh, I'm delighted to participate in today's uh, ceremony. Uh, first of all, uh, I would also like to acknowledge uh, the work done by the DEC under the chairmanship of E.D. Liu. Uh, I have recently arrived in Manila and I look forward to meeting E.D. Liu and uh, the new DG in person soon. Uh, as has been said by my colleagues, independent evaluation is central to good corporate governance of an organization and the IED has been crucial uh, in measuring development effectiveness of ADB's operations. Uh, during COVID-19 pandemic, the IED team quickly adapted to working in the new normal and independently reviewed and provided timely analysis on ADB's evolving COVID-19 response through its real-time evaluations. The team also produced valuable knowledge products on a range of COVID-19 topics. And I must commend the team for their flexibility in responding to the changing needs of our DMCs. Independent evaluation also plays an important role in assessing the development contributions of private sector operations and public-private partnerships. Evaluation evidence has consistently shown that commercial success is closely linked to high development outcomes. We've also seen that to stimulate the growth of the private sector in our DMCs, development of a conducive enabling environment should always be coupled with good implementation. I must also congratulate the teams for the thematic evaluation work, very important which has been concluded this year. The evaluation document on ADP support for action on climate change was very timely and provided important recommendations for ADB to adopt as we strive to meet our enhanced climate ambitions. I also note the ongoing evaluation started this year, such as a thematic evaluation of ADB's non-sovereign operations additionality. And I look forward to the findings of the team as ADB enhances development effectiveness across its private sector operations through PSOD's Development Effectiveness Upgrade Program. In closing, I would like to congratulate the award winners and the teams for their notable achievements through ADB's development impact this year 
And I would like to thank DG Jimenez, Sona, Saleha, and the IED team again for hosting today's celebration and making me a part of the celebration. I'm sure that the new DG will continue to look after the conscience of the bank. Thank you and best wishes for the future. Thank you so much, Bibi Lavasa. Um, and uh, now let's go on and hear what uh, VP Gosper has to say. I believe he has joined us already. Welcome, VP. Thanks, Salaha, and um, hello to everybody. It's uh, it's uh, great to join you uh, on this occasion and to reflect on the past year. Um, so, some of my colleagues have already said um, quite a bit about this, um, but I want to thank you for the work that you've done. I've had the chance to look at much of it over this past year, my first year in the organization, and I've been really quite impressed um, with the work that you do. The work that you do is essential for a healthy organization. Um, without it, um, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't do anywhere near as well as we do do in learning from what worked and what we can do better. And that's a, that process of self-evaluation is uh, a very important part of a healthy organization. Um, and you, you bring your skills uh, and your commitment to the objectives of the organization and, and all your experience to, to, to bear on, on that quite important task. So it's an important part of accountability as well, of course. And as, as DG Marvin used to say, uh, the things you're doing is really about doing the right things and doing them better. And that's really um, uh, a commendable uh, piece of work that you undertake and quite important to all of us. So I want to thank you for um, all that you've done. Um, and I look forward to engaging with uh, IED over the year ahead uh, as we um, reflect on our shared experience and uh, how well we're performing as an organization, but in particular, how we learn and do better in the future, because there's plenty of learnings and plenty of doing better um, that we need, I'm sure. Thank you very much. And now let's get on straight to the award uh, ceremony. But before that, I would really like to recognize the people behind the, these awards. And uh, I would like to mention the fact that, as we all have already said, that there's been a very tedious screening of the winners. And uh, for that, I'd like to thank uh, the PVR, XVR, and TCRV team and colleagues Glenn and Max who were the main coordinators. And we have to say that they've done an excellent job with all the due diligence that is possible under director Nathan Subramanian's guidance. So thank you so much. A really big round of applause for all the hard work that you have committed to getting these awards in order. And I'd also like to actually thank my pit crew, uh, people who have ensured that this show is completely seamless and everything goes on very well. Uh, I'd like to thank Twinkle. I'd like to thank Ben and Ange. Thank you very much. And on to the awards right now. Um, I would request that as we uh, call out the names of the winning teams, please turn your videos on. And of course, you've been briefed that we would love to hear from the team leader and from the director general of the winning team. Um, and uh, uh, let's get this straight in order. And I'd like to invite DDG IED Sona Shreshta to announce the best uh, PVR awards. Best PCR awards, actually, not PVR. So now. Thank you very much, Saleha, and good morning to all the colleagues. Thank you so much for joining this very important event this morning. Um, as has been mentioned earlier, the, the PCR awards has been selected based on a set of criteria from quite a large pool of uh, PCRs, actually. Uh, the criteria that focus on the quality, the rigor, and importantly, the candor of self-evaluation with a focus on learning and, um, and improving future uh, projects based on, um, based on lessons learned. So I'm very, very pleased to be presenting these awards. Um, so let us get started. Um, and in no particular order, the first best PCR award for the year goes to Here 
Portuguese Republic Second Investment Climate Improvement Program. Uh, the PCR was prepared by uh, Ruslan Kurman Bekov as team leader, together with colleagues Ethel, Eleanor, and Dai Chan. Congratulations, very well done. Congrats to the team. Thank you very much. It's a great honor to, receive, to accept this uh, award on behalf of PCR team, namely Dai Chang, Esil, Len, and myself. We would like to express our sincere gratitude to ID for recognizing our work. PCRs are important because they provide a great opportunity to look back and revise our future steps given the uh, lesson learned. This PCR was a multidisciplinary task that required the analysis of economy, legislation, public-private partnership, financial system, educational and tax system. I would like to say special thanks to my all to all my team members for their insightful inputs. We would like to also to acknowledge uh, all the support we have received from our management, from our front office, from executing agencies. Once again, many thanks for presenting us this uh, award. We are very happy and very proud to get it. Thank you. Islan, a lot of uh, congratulations and thank you for joining us today and saying those words to us. I'm certain that it will uh, encourage other team leaders to do excellent self-evaluations going forward. We also have DG CWRD with us today. Uh, DG, we'd like to hear from you as well. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We will be <clears throat> very brief. Thank you. Um, congratulations to the team and Ruslan for, for this uh, exceptional uh, achievement. And thank you, Sona, for presenting this uh, awards to us. I hope you enjoy your uh, work in uh, ID. Um, so uh, as, as colleagues said, uh, we very much value the work of ID. And we think the independent review, which is being done by DB, provides important check and balance on our work. Um, our country is sometimes not easy to operate in, and sometimes we um, are successful, sometimes we're less successful. So I think uh, my philosophy is that we should be honest with us, and that will lead us to better outcomes. And thank you for helping us with this. And again, congratulations to the team. Let me stop here. Thank you very much, DG. And I'd like to pass on the floor once again for, to Sona to announce the second best PCR award. Thank you, Saleha. The second best PCR award of the year goes to Blanca, the Education Sector Development Program, um, to the team which was led by Herat and uh, as Gisung Sudarshana and Vasana as team members. Congratulations to the team. Very well done. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much and good morning and good afternoon to everyone. First of all, let us thank uh, ID for selecting our PCR for this recognition program. It's a real encouragement and great, great pleasure for us. Uh, this is Sri Lanka's first RBL program as well as the bank. So it was a learning exercise for all of us. The program delivered very strong and sustainable outcomes to the secondary education system in the country. In delivering this, SLRM highly appreciate the timely support and guidance given by SHS. Thanks to Ms. Gisung Song for that. And also we thank our SAD management as well as SLRM management for their super directions. Lastly, we would like to share this award with all departments who directly or indirectly supported and guided us by providing valuable inputs for the development its quality. Thank you. Thank you, Jaya. Thank you very much. And we have DG Yokoyama with us today as well. Congratulations, DG. Uh, yes, I, yeah. oh, on behalf of SAT, uh, thank you very much for this uh, uh, recognition of the quality PCR. And also, I really uh, congratulate Jaya and the Jason and the team for of this uh, well structured PCR. Uh, actually, uh, we really value the uh, uh, in, I mean, importance of doing PCR and also uh, appreciate uh, uh, IED's independent also verification process, uh, which gives us uh, uh, also a lot of uh, insight and uh, messages to strengthen the quality of the uh, 
uh, of, of a PCR. Although sometimes we have to <laughs> disagree and we want to, uh, I mean, uh, reduce the, those number of disagreements uh, by a mutual understanding. But overall, uh, as, as I, I, we usually emphasize that uh, preparing a good PCR demonstrates that the team has, uh, uh, our, our you know, project staff is really building the project expertise because uh, uh, PCR have to look at everything from the uh, conceptualization development and the preparation and then the implementation and sustainability. And uh, so Jaya has been actually known as a, a very strong expert within uh, you know, SAAT and this really demonstrates that uh, uh, you know, our, our team's strengths. And so I really appreciate the team for congratulations. And uh, we also appreciate IED's uh, uh, also uh, recognition. This, this really means a lot to the team and also motivate us a lot. So thank you very much. Thank you, DG. Thank you so much for taking time out to be with us here today. And on to the third best PCR award. And I'd like to say that when we are saying third best, we don't mean it in any order. All these three PCRs have been selected as the top three PCRs to be awarded. And for that, I'd like to hand it over once again to DDG Sona Shrishta. Sona. Okay, so the final award for the best PCR of the year goes to Vietnam Improving Competitiveness Program. The report was led by Dominique Meller as team leader, um, supported by Steve Shifani and colleagues Fong, Wong, and Min. Big congratulations to the third team. Very well done. Yeah, no, thank, thank you very much for, um, you know, recognizing uh, this PCR as one of the, the, the best PCRs um, across ADB. Um, I'm, of course, picking up this award um, on behalf of the VRM team. I was in VRM at the time we executed this program. Uh, I then moved to PSOD um, prior to doing the evaluation. So I suppose it's also a, a bit of a 180B uh, evaluation jointly done with uh, CERD. Uh, I think this program was uh, quite unique at the time in that it was one of the first uh, programs that was uh, executed and evaluated by the resident mission. Um, since then, there's been a trend towards decentralization and outposting. Uh, but one of the, the one of the things we benefited from uh, that process was that we had a lot of uh, presence on the ground. It was actually a, also a unique program in, in that it was jointly developed um, and evaluated with other development partners as well, including World Bank, JICA, Switzerland, and DFID. So I think having that uh, presence and being resident mission led allowed for a very good close coordination uh, with other uh, partners. And I just wanted also to recognize uh, the role of IED um, in this because prior to this evaluation report being completed in 2018, there was a joint VRM IED initiative to build the national capacity of government officials in uh, Vietnam to uh, do better evaluations. There was a week-long uh, training program organized by ERD, and the standard of the training was uh, excellent. And the staff in VRM, um, based in VRM, including myself, also benefited from that very much. And so uh, uh, we're very appreciative of that. And just lastly, I also wanted to recognize my other colleagues that were involved in uh, this program, including Ju Hongming, uh, that's also, uh, I think, on video, uh, Stephen Shapani, that uh, unfortunately couldn't join today, um, and uh, also Dang Tu Hong. So, and, uh, and uh, Fan, uh, Fan Tu Hong, sorry, I, I've been away from Vietnam <laughs> just a few years, I'm already struggling with the name. So, but thank you very much again for acknowledging us. So, back over to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And on to the best XARR award. And for that, I'd like to invite Director Nathan Subramaniam to come and please present the best XARR award. Nathan. Uh, thank you, Suleha. This year's uh, awardee for best XARR followed all the applicable guidelines and standards for evaluation of non sovereign operations. It provided a comprehensive analysis and clear distinction of the pertinent issues of ADB's investment in this private equity fund. The recommendations for future ADB investments were also highly relevant. This year's best XARR award goes to AIF Capital Asia 3. The project team consists of Catherine Pacifico, Stefan Brushka, Ariane Poras, 
Rana Lisa Samiano. Congratulations. Thank you very much for picking this XAR. Um, thanks, Nathan. I haven't seen you in real life for such a long time that I was a bit shocked. The beard looks good on you, but I hadn't seen that before. Um, thanks to IED for this. Um, the reality of XARs for us is that um, the burden of workload is almost crushing, but IED is a positive thorn in our side. Um, the XAR process and XVR process has led a lot of impetus in uh, us rethinking the quality of the work we do, how we can do it better, and how we can work together with IED to achieve better results. I would also like to positively mention that we've had a close dialogue over the last few months on how to evaluate transactions in COVID support. Um, PSOD has, has funded 17 so far, and uh, we have come to a agreement um, how the special features of these transactions should be evaluated. So thank you very much to IED for this. And a shout out to Catherine Pacifico, who will uh, be happy to hear of this award. She has left ADB and retired in the meantime, but I will make sure she hears. Thank you very much, and uh, back to you. Thank you, Stefan. And DG Gaburi is with us here as well. We'd like to hear a few words from you and your support for the team. Congratulations, DG, too. Thank you and, and good morning, or I should say late good evening from Montreal, uh, only a few meters from McGill University, by the way. Uh, so <laughs> just a little bit of a connection there. So once again, uh, on behalf of PSOD, it's a pleasure to be here to, uh, uh, at this IED awards. It's my first awards uh, uh, with ADB. Uh, and thank you awarding the, for the best a XARR for the team in recognition of the quality uh, um, evaluation which was carried out and to the overall uh, XARR team. So congratulations on this event. Um, this, this fund that we've mentioned, the uh, AIF Capital Asia uh, Fund 3, is a private equity fund, uh, which you've mentioned already, but it was an opportunity to support access to financing for underserved mid-sized companies. And through this investment, ADB was able to support portfolio companies that span the sectors of pharmaceuticals, industrial manufacturing, equipment distribution and leasing, healthcare, telecom, media, advertising, agriculture, consumer packaging, and financial services. So quite a wide range of, of different areas and, and uh, uh, that they can help in. And so today we're here to celebrate the quality uh, review done by the XRR team and um, project completion evaluations as has been heard are a much needed part of our project life cycle. I think it's really important to have the lessons learned uh, fed back into the system so we can uh, design uh, better programs, uh, work better with our clients and learn from this. And we can draw upon these uh, good practices uh, learned through these evaluations to help inform future project design and delivering and processing better development impact. So once again, congratulations to the XAR team for delivering a quality review report and in support of our efforts to deliver impact. I will tell you that in Montreal right now, it's a, it's a chilly minus 15. So, so uh, I wish you uh, sunny weather and uh, please send me some warmth. <laughs> Thank you very much, DG, for those kind words. I'm in New Delhi. It's minus, uh, it's 11, so not quite close to the temperature that you're experiencing right now, but it's pretty chilly here as well uh, by our standards. Uh, so uh, thank you and congratulations again. Um, now I'd like to call Senior Advisor IED Ben Graham to present the best TCR awards. Ben? Thank you, Saleha, and congratulations to all the previous winners. Um, I will be presenting two TCRs uh, to be awarded today. And the first award uh, goes to a TCR that articulated well the TA's objectives and its accomplishments, including a coherent and logical presentation of the TA's implementation. The lessons were sound and emphasize, among other things, the need for upfront analysis of the political environment during design stage and maintaining close communication among stakeholders to help facilitate timely changes in cases of unexpected events. The first award for best TCR goes to the Sri Lanka National Port Master Plan. 
Uh, this was led by team leader Nanyan Zhou and included a large team consisting of colleagues Cynthia, Kaoru, Maria, Marie, Masayuki, Merdinia, and Shigehiko. Congratulations to the team. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm so honored to be here and very grateful to receive this award on behalf of our team. This award is a big surprise to us and is indeed a precious present, especially this was my first TCR. I would like to thank Ravi, Shige, and my colleagues in SATC who gave me this opportunity to work on this and guide me on the preparation of the PCR. My colleagues Tess and uh, CCL worked very hard on this, uh, including Chase, the client for documents and supplementary materials. Other colleagues in SATC and SOAOD mm -hmm. help us so much on putting materials together and polishing the document. Especially thank you, Leiping and Kara for the guidance on the preparation, the flow of the whole document. Another big thanks to Caro and uh, Karamura-san and Aruna, the previous project officers providing uh, many background stories of uh, the implementation and being very valuable reviewers. For me, I learned a whole lot from this exercise. A completion report gives a clear post facto view on the opportunities and challenges in preparing and implementation any project or TA. I'm very grateful for this learning and obliged to my many colleagues who patiently guided me. I would like to conclude by thanking the IED team for the recognition. Thank you and wishing everybody a happy weekend to follow. Okay, over to you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Ben, over to you for the next TCR award. Congratulations again to the team. The next award is for a TCR that was clearly written and provided an adequate discussion of TA implementation. Uh, this TCR was candid in presenting the shortcomings in the TA design and the implementation challenges that were met. My congratulations to... Indonesia Enhancing the Regulatory Framework of Financial Sector Development and Oversight in CERD. And the team leader uh, for this TCR was Sunny Ismail. Congratulations, Sunny. Thank you very much, uh, IED, for the recognition. Although my name was the only one who appeared on the screen, but of course, I'd, I'd like to acknowledge the team members who worked together on this TCR, Purnima, as well as the analysts, Witty, and the operational assistants, Tina and Ivy. Uh, thanks as well to CERT Management for the guidance and review in this TCR. This recognition is especially meaningful for us because ADB has had a long-standing relationship with the principal beneficiary of the TA, OJK Indonesia, since 2012. In fact, ADB has been the main advocate for an integrated regulator structure in Indonesia since the Asian financial crisis in 1998-1999. So anything we do that recognizes this relationship and that improves our support and assistance to OJK as the finance sector generally is hugely appreciated uh, by the government. From an operation perspective, self-evaluation is primarily an opportunity for us to take a pause in operations and reflect on what went right and frankly, what went wrong. What went right can be replicated in future operations and what went wrong is a lesson learned for improvement. There is really nothing wrong in admitting that we make mistakes as long as we take steps to improve them. So on that note, uh, again, sincerest thank you for the recognition. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Sunny Islam Ismail, and a very, very big congratulations to you again. We have a DDG Cert Winnie with us today. Uh, very happy to have you. We will miss Ramesh. Um, he's a great uh, supporter of evaluations, but we're very, very happy that you could join us. Please say a few words and congratulations, Winnie. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Salia. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, ID, for, for this uh, award. I uh, really appreciate the recognition. We at uh, CERT like to think it reflects the focus and, and care that we put into preparation of our self-evaluation reports. Um, kudos, of course, uh, to Sunny, uh, the project officer who prepared the TCA, and as he mentioned, also uh, the team that uh, supported him, but also the interdepartmental reviewers and, and support. Um, just really quick, as Sunny mentioned, um, this is really a very important TA for uh, for CERT or was. It, it's one in a series of TAs and, and PBLs that have been quite critical in our engagement in Indonesia. 
um, with Ministry of Finance and the uh, OJK, the independent regulator. Um, and this support over the years has gone quite a long way in strengthening the sector. And that was, by the way, also recognized by IED's uh, Finance Sector Assistance Program Evaluation just a couple of years ago. Um, so in other words, we're not only proud of the award that we received today um, for the best TCRO, uh, but uh, as much uh, also for the success for larger engagement in the sector in Indonesia. It's quite fitting, therefore, also that uh, TCR team leader uh, Sunny uh, has been or was actually around about 12, 13 years ago when we helped establish OJK in Indonesia. He was one of the team members, uh, the original team members in the establishment and has been involved in AAB support to OJK and financial sector in, in Indonesia um, ever since, over a decade now. So you see, there's quite some rich history here. Thank you again, uh, IED. Thank you, Vinny. Thank you, Sunny. And thank you, Ben, for presenting the best DCR award. Let's now move uh, ahead. And uh, I believe we have DG EARD with us, Teresa. And although we didn't warn Teresa about it, a uh, very warm welcome to you. You are a big supporter of evaluations. We are very happy to have you here. If you'd like to say a few words, we are most welcome to hear from you. Teresa. Thank you, Saleha. Uh, a warm welcome to DG Mani. Um, Evaluations really enrich us because they do provide an opportunity for us to be introspective, uh, to take a hard look at what we've done and where we've done well and where we can improve. And so we truly look forward to working closely with IED in the coming year uh, in upcoming evaluations. Thank you, Saleha. Thank you. A pleasure to have you. And uh, we now move ahead to the big one. All the awards are big, but this is slightly more special. This is the IED Cup. And before we announce the IED Cup, we'd like to run a quick poll to refresh your memories to see if you remember who the winners of the 2020 IED Cup were or was. So here are a few choices. Please click on what you think is the correct choice. And absolutely right, 42% sir, that is the correct answer. And uh, thank you for participating in that poll. And it's time now to announce the winners of this year's IED Cup, the best operations department. And for that, I would like to call Deck Che and uh, DG IED Manny Jimenez to present uh, this award, this very prestigious award. Uh, thanks, uh, Saleha. Congratulations to all the awardees uh, of the uh, uh, best uh, PCR, XARR, and TCR. Uh, and now uh, I'm pleased to uh, uh, join uh, deck chair in uh, announcing the winner of this year's IED Cup. Uh, uh, the IED Cup is a team award. It's, commend, uh, it's uh, awarded to a department that's commended for having the most satisfactory PCRs, XARRs, and TCRs in terms of quality, uh, timeliness of submission, and alignment between the self-assessment and the validation. Uh, and so I'm very pleased to announce uh, this year's IED's uh, cup winner and the best operations department. Can I have the envelope, please? And I'm so excited. <laughs> and the winner is Hard, uh, the Pacific Department. Uh, uh, congratulations, uh, Leia and the Hard team. Yes, congratulations. Congratulations, Leah, you're here. This is a very proud moment for you. <laughs> Let's hear from you. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, good morning, uh, board members, uh, vice presidents and colleagues. Uh, and welcome DG Manny to ADB. Uh, so this is actually quite a surprise. Uh, so I, I uh, thank you very much. I'm very honored uh, to receive this award on behalf of the Pacific team. Um, Really, thank you for recognizing the hard efforts of PARD to improve our self-evaluation uh, through our completion reports. Um, this also recognizes the efforts of my predecessors, Carmela and Shandin, in strengthening the capacity in PARD and also the support of our government counterparts. Uh, we couldn't have gone, uh, we couldn't have submitted those uh, completion reports without uh, their uh, support. 
Um, complementing this are, of course, the helpful discussions and also the training we have received from colleagues in IED, PPFD, and also OSEC. Um, under the Pacific approach at 2021-2025, we are putting into action what we have learned in improving project implementation through our uh, what we call our project improvement action plan. So we will continue to do our best in carrying out our self-evaluations so that we can learn more and actually apply the lessons. Again, uh, on behalf of BARD, thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations again, Leah, and a big, big round of applause to you and your team. And uh, with that, we actually come to the end of this uh, award ceremony. And thank you so much, all of you, for joining us. It's been wonderful. And we look forward to seeing you in 2022, hopefully in the big ADB auditorium with all the pomp and show. But till then, thank you very much for joining us. A Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year.